Hello, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, police say the skeletal remains of two 63-year-old twins went unnoticed in a Chattanooga home for more than three years. Over the weekend, authorities found the skeletons of Anthony and Andrew Johnson sitting in recliners in their living room in a house near Red Bank. WRCV reports that their sister tried to check on them in 2011, but didn't have a key. So she called police, but they wouldn't force their way in. Finally, this weekend, another family member was able to get a key to go inside. Investigators say they believe the twins died in early 2011 based on a timestamp found on a receipt near some unused Coke cans. But neighbors say they never noticed because the grass was cut and the mailbox wasn't overflowing. Officials say both men were severe diabetics, and while there are no obvious signs of foul play, Chattanooga police are still investigating. A man has been charged with the murder of his 75-year-old grandma in North Georgia. On Saturday, police found 75-year-old Joyce Ann Fowler beaten to death on her bed with empty pill bottles nearby. Authorities won't say what weapon was used. And neighbors say they saw her grandson, 30-year-old Joshua Michael Fowler, at the home that morning. He hasn't admitted to the crime, and police don't understand the motive. But they did find his SUV soaked with blood, and they think he may have killed her for money or pills. Joshua's wife, Amber, says her husband has no violent history. She said, quote, he has a good heart, he's a really good person. He was, at one point, a good father, a good husband. This is a classic example of what drugs will do to a person. I love him, I will always love him. Police say Joshua was released from Walker State Prison in October after serving a 17-month sentence for drug possession. Since then, he lived with his grandmother on and off, and he admitted to taking cocaine and meth last week. A 30-year-old woman has reportedly confessed to helping kill a man in his trailer. Jessica Sturchy told police she entered 30-year-old Zachary Higdon's trailer to purchase cocaine back in October 2011. After she entered, she says her boyfriend and brother came in and tried to rob him. Higdon fought back and was shot to death. Sturchy says she drove the men back to the trailer twice after the killing to steal valuables and clean up the scene. The gun was later thrown in the river and the stolen goods were pawned off. Sturchy faces charges of first-degree murder, aggravated robbery, and tampering with evidence. She'll appear in court April 15th. The victim of a deadly motorcycle crash in Hickson on Sunday was a local volunteer firefighter. 29-year-old Joseph Rutherford served the Lone Oak Fire Department in Sequatchie County. WRCB says he was riding just outside the entrance to North Point Mall with a group of bikers when one lost control and hit Rutherford. The two ran off the road and Rutherford died at the scene. The other's injuries were not life-threatening. Joseph leaves behind several kids, and a memorial fund is being set up to help his family. The case remains under investigation. Governor Bill Haslam's plan to boost pay for teachers is being put on hold for at least a year. After poor sales and business tax collections in the state, Tennessee is faced with a $160 million gap in the state budget. Last fall, Haslam said he wanted to give Tennessee teachers the biggest raises in the country over the next five years. He says that goal remains, but a one-year delay will save the state $72 million in next year's budget. He's also dropping plans to give state employees a 1% pay raise. Finally, the NRA is disputing a claim by Bradley County Sheriff Jim Ruth that he has its endorsement for the upcoming election. The claim appeared in a recent campaign ad, which showed the logo of the National Rifle Association. The only problem is, the group says it hasn't made any endorsements this campaign season. Ruth's ad also claimed that his challenger, Eric Watson, has never made a felony case. But Watson says he's made hundreds of felony arrests, and Ruth claimed that Watson was dishonorably discharged from the Bradley Sheriff's Office. But that kind of discharge doesn't even exist in state law enforcement. Earlier this year, Ruth accused Watson of using money from his state representative campaign to pay for his run for sheriff. But the Tennessee Ethics Commission has dismissed that complaint. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 78 degrees. The low tonight will be around 48. 
That's it for today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.